Today's mass intentions for the people and for all our intentions, dear sisters and brothers. We also pray for the souls of Lawrence and Lenny Mathias. First death anniversary mass for the soul of Philomena Amal Raj, souls of Virus and Sheila Chaves, and the soul of Julie Fernandez and family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Today is the 13th Sunday in the ordinary season of the liturgical year. And we also celebrate Lady Sunday in our Archdiocese. Lady Sunday is one way to express the deep conviction that we are called to participate in God's mission and live this calling through the ministry of the Church. On this day, we pray that all of us may reflect God in our lives and be instruments of God's tender love and compassion. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sinfulness so to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. As we all together say, I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask the Sisters of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy.
Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant we pray that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of the Kings. One day, as Elisha was on his way to Shunem, a woman of rank who lived there pressed him to stay and eat there. After this, he always broke his journey for a meal when he passed that way. She said to her husband, Look, I'm sure the man who is constantly passing our way must be a holy man of God. Let us build him a small room on the roof and put him a bed in it and a table, chair and lamp. Whenever he comes to us, he can rest there. One day when he came, he retired to the upper room and lay down. What can be done for her, he asked. Gehazi, his servant, answered, Well, she has no son and her husband is old. Elisha said, Call her. The servant called her and she stood at the door. This time next year, Elisha said, you will hold a son in your arms. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response will be, I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. I will, I will sing forever, forever of, of your, your love, love, O Lord. Lord. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. Through all ages my mouth will proclaim your truth. Of this I am sure, that your love lasts forever, that your truth is firmly established as the heavens. Your response? I, I will, will sing, sing forever, forever of, of your love, love O Lord. Lord. Happy the people who acclaim such a king, who walk, O Lord, in the light of your face, who find their joy every day in your name, who make your justice the source of their bliss. Your response? I will, I will sing, sing forever, forever of, of your, your love, love, O Lord. Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. When we were baptized in Christ Jesus, we were baptized in his death. In other words, when we were baptized, we went into the tomb with him and joined him in death. So that as Christ was raised from the dead by the Father's glory, we too might live a new life. But we believe that having died with Christ, we shall return to life with Him. Christ as we know, having been raised from the dead, will never die again. Death has no power over Him anymore. When He died, He died, once for all to sin. So His life now is life with God. And in that way, you too must consider yourselves to be dead to sin, but alive for God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel acclamation.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. Jesus instructed the twelve as follows. Anyone who prefers father or mother to me is not worthy of me. Anyone who prefers son or daughter to me is not worthy of me. Anyone who does not take up his cross and follow in my footsteps is not worthy of me. Anyone who finds his life will lose it, and anyone who loses his life for my sake will find it. Anyone who welcomes you welcomes me, and those who welcome me welcome the one who sent me. Anyone who welcomes a prophet because he is a prophet will have a prophet's reward. And anyone who welcomes a holy man because he is a holy man will have a holy man's reward. If anyone gives so much as a cup of cold water to one of these little ones because he is a disciple, then I tell you solemnly, he will most certainly not lose his reward. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate Lady Sunday today and uh, our church, our churches are empty. Unfortunately, this Lady Sunday has come under lockdown and our churches are empty. Our churches are without Lady. Now also, for this service, we have only two lay persons who have come to help out during this service. My dear brothers and sisters, it is you, lay people, bring the church or build the church. It is you who are church because of your generosity, because you are generous in your time, your talents, and generously you help to the church. That's why our churches or our church is active and vibrant. Without you there is no church. So in, with the collaboration of Odin priest and religious people, you build the church. Even we Odin ministers come from you, my dear brothers and sisters. We come from lay people. We are ordained for this special task to be the priest, to take care of the church. The patron saint of Lady is St. Thomas More. St. Thomas More was born in London in 15th century when King Henry VIII was a king there in London. And this St. Thomas More was great thinker, philosopher, and he was appointed one of the counsellor for King Henry VIII. He was one of the spokespersons for King Henry. But King Henry in the 15th century broke away from the church because he wanted to get married second time. He wanted to divorce his wife and when he expresses his thought of getting married again to the to Pope of to the Bishop of Rome. Bishop of Rome tells him about the teaching of the church that second marriage is not allowed, the divorce is not allowed. And therefore he broke away from the church, he separated from the church, and he forced his subject, he forced his people to consider him, consider King Henry as 
the head of the church. Saint Thomas More was there. Saint Thomas More didn't agree with King Henry. He brought to the notice of King Henry that what he is doing is wrong. He stood by his faith. He stood by his conviction about the primacy of supremacy of Pope, and therefore. This Saint Thomas More was beheaded, but before he was beheaded, he said that I am loyal to the King, but first to God. My dear brothers and sisters, we see the generosity of this Saint Thomas More in his expression of his faith. Similarly, because of your generosity. We have church. Your generosity and the grace of God builds the church. I pick up this theme from today's reading, also generosity. In the first reading, we see, which is taken from Second Kings, we see how an old couple is sensitive to the need of Prophet Elisha. Prophet Elisha would travel from far distance. He would pass. He would pass from their house, and they would see him. They realize. They realize that Prophet Elisha needs rest on his way. They were sensitive to the needs of Prophet Elisha, and when they realize that he is a man of God, they build. A small guest room for him, so that he can come there and rest there. And their generosity gives them a reward of a child, because this couple, old couple, was childless. But because of their generosity, God blesses them with child. In the second reading, Saint Paul tells us. that through baptism jesus offers us new life it is the generosity of god which offers us eternal life through jesus god is generous and we are called to be like god we are called to be generous my dear brothers and sisters our life itself is a gift of god and we need to give this gift back to god and that is what saint thomas more did in his life in the gospel reading we have the mission discourse this mission discourse is at the end jesus has given all the instruction to his disciples as they are going for their mission he has told them what they need to do and what they need to follow and this is the end of the mission discourse where jesus tells his disciples his followers to be generous in today's gospel jesus tells us that we need to give first priority to god once again as i said our life itself is a gift from god god is generous and out of his generosity god has given us or god has blessed blessed us with many things our life itself is a gift from god and what comes from god we need to give to god jesus tells us in today's gospel reading that our first priority should be god and then he goes on saying that we need to be sensitive to the needs of others we need to be generous to the needs of others and at the end of the gospel we hear that our generosity will not go unnoticed even giving a glass of water to thirsty will be counted and god will reward us for this as we celebrate lady sunday today a lady plays an important role in the church because of the generosity we see our churches vibrant and active during this mass we pray that god may bless all our faithful and god may make us 
generous and sensitive to the needs of others. Amen. Let us now stand and profess our faith in one God. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. A God is a generous God. He provides for our needs. We now place all our needs and our intentions before that Almighty God. Our response will be... Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Please repeat. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for Pope Francis, that he, who has been given the mantle of leadership in the Church, may be guided by the Holy Spirit <coughs> to make the Church the face of God's mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for the laity of our parish that they may realize the importance of their collaboration with the ordained ministers in helping the reign of God in the parish. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all the teachers and children facing difficulties with online classes. Lord, Guide them and give them and their families the grace to teach and understand their lessons. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for our parish council members, SCC animators and those involved in parish work. That they bring together unity in their respective fields and make the parish a unified and vibrant parish. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our personal needs and the needs of those who have asked us to pray for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We make this prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good cause of church. O God, graciously accomplish the effects of your mysteries. Grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be 
Worthy of these sacred gifts to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. For by his birth, he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering cancelled out our sins. By his rising from the day, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Oswald Gracious our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be cohesed to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you 
through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, 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 heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, sin but of the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Lamb of God you, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, God take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, forgive my sins, Lord, and come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever to Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, today is a Lady Sunday and we, priest of the parish, we are missing you all. On this day, usually there is a commissioning of the, all the heads of the association but now it's not happening because of this pandemic. We all need each other's prayer and we need to be generous in praying for one another. So I ask you all to pray for us and we are praying for you all and we miss you all. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, to be to God. your cross and follow me. Have their holes a boat's and nest. I have no place to take my rest. If you wish to be my disciple, take up your cross.